name is Shizuka. I'm currently studying in high school. My parents divorced when I was very young, and my mom raised me all by herself. I always try to save up my money so I don't become such a burden to my mom. Hey, Shizuka! Why is everything that you possess so cheap and look old? Why don't you buy something more expensive? Well, I don't want to buy anything too expensive and waste money. <laughs> oh gosh! You seriously don't have much money? That's so funny! It's so tough being poor, huh? My classmate Hikari always makes fun of me. But I don't mind. As long as I can live every day in peace, that's all that matters. But one day, my mother told me that she wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Shizuka, I'm thinking of remarrying someone. What? I was so surprised hearing that, but at the same time, I was happy. Because I've always wanted my mom to be happy after working all her life and raising me. I see. Anyways, no matter what person he is, as long as mom is choosing, I'll give him my blessing. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> that person is very nice. His name is Kazuma, and he is the leader of the Nagoka clan. Uh, wait a minute. Mom, you said the Nekooka clan? But that clan is known as a Yakuza group. What do you mean by that? You're not getting tricked or something? Don't worry about it. Kazuma is a very kind person despite his background. I wanted my mom to reconsider it. But when I saw my mom's happy face, I couldn't strongly oppose her like that. But in the end... Mom got registered as a wife with the head of the clan, and we ended up living at their house. I wonder if it's really okay. But I do want to believe him because my mother chose him. Come on, Shizuka. Let's go. I smiled nervously and walked in. I finally got to meet with the head of the famous Yakuza clan. Ah, nice to meet you, Shizuka-san. I heard a lot about you from your mom. I'm Kazuma the leader of the Nekooka clan. We're going to be a family from now on, and if you have any trouble, just tell me anything. We are from the Nekooka clan! So are you, Shizuka-san! We will call you Young Lady from now on! Pleased to meet you, Young Lady! N nice to meet you all! And this is my son, Akira. You both are going to be stepbrother and sister from now on. Please get along well. Yeah. Hi there. Oh! This guy is... Look! It's Akira-senpai! Akira-san is a sophomore student who goes to the same high school as me. He's famous as the son of the Nekooka clan leader. And everyone in our school knows about him. He seems to be a very strong fighter himself. And he's looked up to by everyone. Especially the delinquents in school. I knew about Akira-san one way or another before. But it never crossed my mind that we would be stepbrother and sister. Well, the dinner is ready. Enjoy yourself to the fullest. Kazuma-san and everyone in the group treated me and my mom so well that I didn't think we deserved it at all. Have a drink. All right, good. I think I can handle this. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, Akira. What is it about? So, there's something I think we should both do. I think it would be better to keep the secret that we are both brother and sister now in school. Huh? Oh. I guess he doesn't want to let everyone know that a dull girl like me has become his sister. Okay. I won't tell anyone about it too, so don't worry. I explained the situation only to my teacher, and I had to live under my original family name at my school. No one at school knows that Akira has become my brother from now on. It's Akira-senpai! He looks kinda scary, but cool at the same time. Nobody can compete with him. He's the strongest guy in school. I adore him so much! Right. He started becoming family, but he's still from a different world than mine. I really wanted to be able to get along with him as siblings, though. But I don't know if that's possible for a dull girl like me. 
I have an awkward relationship with Akira-san after we decided to keep it a secret. But Kazuma-san is always kind to me. Shizuka, it's raining today. Shall I have someone from my guide drive you to school? No, no, it's just a drizzle and it will probably stop soon, so I'm fine. Is that so? Well, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask for help, yeah? Everyone in the gang is always nice to me too. Young lady, welcome back home. How is school today? If you don't like someone, we'll take care of it. Just let us know, young lady. Although I was confused at first, I gradually became accustomed to life in the Nikooka group. But one day... Since I'm always indebted to them, maybe I should cook a home-cooked meal to thank them for their hospitality and taking care of me. Ah, uh, I think I bought too many ingredients. Ugh, this is pretty heavy. Eh? Akira-san, why are you here? I was just walking around the neighborhood and found you, Shizuka. And that looks kind of heavy. Well, I bought it, so it's okay. I don't want to be a burden to you, Akira. Don't worry about it. It's seriously not that heavy. Oh, thank you very much. Is Akira going to feel embarrassed to walk next to someone like me? I'm so dull and... I think I should be more fashionable like most girls. Oh, that's a beautiful dress. I'd love to wear something like that, but I don't think it would suit me. Hmm? Do you like that dress? What? Uh, no, it just... If you like it, then let's try it on. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey Akira! So fast. Before I had time to stop him, Akira-san went into the store and asked the clerk to try it on, so I... Uh, as I thought, it doesn't look right on me, does it? <sighs> yeah, it suits you really well. Huh? We would like this one, ma'am. Yes, understood. We'll proceed with the purchase. Wait, but I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. There's no reason for you to buy such an expensive dress for me, though. Obviously, there is a reason, right? You are my sister and a family from now on, so don't be shy about it. What? A Akira, I thought you didn't like me. Hmm? What are you talking about? I've never said I don't like you. But you said we should keep it a secret that we're brother and sister in school. Ah. Uh, actually, if people knew you were a part of a Yakuza family now, I don't want you to end up having a bad experience like me before. I've always been frightened and avoided by people around me. They always act different towards me because of the fact that I am the son of a Yakuza clan leader. Suddenly becoming one of the Yakuza family must be scary for someone like you, Shizuka. You always tried your best to accept us with a smile on your face. I was feeling happy to know that you became comfortable with everyone. So I don't want you to get a bad experience in school. Sorry. But I'm not good at being nice to people, and I didn't know how to treat them, so... So you really didn't hate me. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I say something weird? No, it's not that. I misunderstood that you didn't like me, Akira. <laughs> I was so happy to know that you thought that way. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you misunderstand. But let me be clear that I won't ever hate you. If you didn't hate me as well, Shizuka, I would be happy if you talked to me like this from time to time. Yes, I do. Let's talk a lot from now on. Akira, thank you so much for the dress. I'll make a very special treat for you tonight as a thank you. Ah! What's wrong? I still had some seasonings that I was missing. I'll get it right away, so just wait for a little while. What? Is that Shizuka? Why is she wearing that luxury brand clothing that I admire so much? And it does look good on her. Tch. What's with you suddenly, Shizuka? I'm glad that everyone was happy with last night's dinner. Akira even said it was delicious. Delicious. Hold on a second, Shizuka. What's wrong? Aren't you being a bit of a show-off lately? It's strange that a poor person like you can afford to buy that brand of expensive clothing. 
You must have done something embarrassing to earn that money, didn't you? What? Nothing embarrassing. That's not it. It's a misunderstanding. You're such a weak and easy girl. Hey, how about we go out next time? I'll at least buy you a cup of coffee and probably play around after. <laughs> hey, don't say such weird things. Huh? You dare to speak against me? Don't be so cocky. Yes, yes. You better make sure you know your place, poor girl. Come on, Shizuka. Let's go already. <laughs> don't touch Shizuka with your damn dirty hands. Ow! Uh, Nakira-senpai? Hey! Why are you protecting the girl like that, Akira-senpai? Shizuka is my precious girl. I will not allow anyone to touch her like that. If you have a problem with me, I'll be your sparring partner. Come if you're brave enough. Yeah! I'm so sorry! I'm sorry as well! Akira, thank you very much for helping me. But is it okay for you to lie to them like that? Huh? I'm not lying. I didn't say so before because I thought it would be bad if they found out we were brother and sister. Instead of not being found out as brother and sister, it seems like everyone misunderstood me as something else. Hmm. I care about you more than you think, though. It's only natural that I would help you in a trouble like this. After a while... Oh! It's Shizuka! I'm jealous of her being with Akira-san like that. I was looked at with envy by everyone, and known as the girl who could make cold-hearted Akira fall in love with me. Good morning, Shizuka-san! You look wonderful today! Hikari, who used to make fun of me before, also suddenly became friendly with me, as if she's afraid of Akira. Hikari-san, if it's about the day before, don't worry about it. You can act normal towards me, okay? As expected of you, Shizuka-san! You're Akira-san's girlfriend, after all. You're so kind so Akira-san could fall in love with you. No, that's not... I'm Akira-san's sister, not his girlfriend. Akira, it seems like our relationship was misunderstood by everyone as girlfriend and boyfriend. Is it okay to continue like this? Well then, if you don't mind, will you go out with me for serious then? I like you, Shizuka, not only as a sister, but also as a girl. Uh, but we're siblings. Don't you know? Stepbrother and sister can also get married. I'm in no hurry to answer you, so take some time and please think about it. Years later, after that, I would eventually marry Akira and be happy together. But that's a story for another time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video.